Hi, we're here again, and we are with uh, Kelly and John Deaver, and this is their beautiful home on Hersland Drive, just off Templin, and we're going to see if they're home today for the tour of homes. And I'm sure Kelly is around here somewhere. She has a beautiful Christmas tree. Welcome, welcome. And this is Kelly Devers. And we really appreciate you opening up oh, your absolutely. beautiful home. And I know all these folks that are going through it are just having a wonderful time today. We said the weather really cooperated. Yes, and it'll hold out just a couple of more hours. It'll I be know. wonderful. I think it will. Oh, yeah. I think it will. I think so, too. So is there anything special you'd like to share with us sure. from your home? Um, looks like we've got a busy crowd very in here. It's things that, you know, we've collected over the years, things that probably doesn't have any value to anybody else but they're very <laughs> valuable to us because they you know since our grandparents and parents and things like that have passed you know the things that they've given us and I've kept through the years so uh, we'll go to this tree the first one okay this this tree uh, the globes the balls not the uh, other ornaments but the balls were um, brought in Germany brought here from Germany in the 50s so uh, a gentleman Bob Appleton from New York had given me these in the 90s so I get them out every year and they're very delicate and we enjoy those you know every year and we think of him that is just a beautiful tree and I love your skirt is very unique too it just sets that tree off just so nicely thank you. Like I love tree skirts. It's kind of like earrings. You have it to is. accessorize. I know. Tree skirts. I know. Also, this is our Santa collection. Now, this uh, little uh, telephone is what we played with when we were children. Oh, that is so cute. You can tell it has some wear and love on it. Yeah. But that's a good thing. That is. That is. And, and I love what you've done with your windows in here, oh, thank too. thank you. You've done a lot of extra thank you. in there. Uh, some folks will do a little extra, you know, just some different a little bit. Of, that's the only thing I think extra I did this year was the garland. Okay. We usually even put out more than this. But, it, you know, you get, you get a little older, you get a little less out every year, you know. You well, leave it's a, a couple lot of work. in the basement. It's a but lot yeah, of work. It's so much fun. And, and I think I like decorating early. Mm-hmm. I usually don't decorate this early, but I really like it because that way you can enjoy it longer and you can have um, time to, you know, do the rest of your shopping and baking. So it really, uh, you know, it really it makes to have time to enjoy it. So this is our gingerbread kitchen. So uh, and this pencil tree, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of homemade ornaments. A lot of my um, ornaments are for my children when they like, for instance, James, when he was in kindergarten, made this one. Tim made this one when he was in kindergarten. And as you can see, it says T-I-M, but then it has M-I-T. Because <laughs> you know how they write their name backwards sometimes when they're in kindergarten. And then, of course, Sarah, when she was in kindergarten. A lot of the fuzzy ones are the ones that we had when we were children. And uh, this is one of my favorites. And that just makes it that much it more is. special. It does. This is from the 80s. Uh, back then, you made all your Christmas gifts. You did in things. You didn't. You didn't buy a lot of stuff. So that year, I had got an attachment. It was uh, that uh, gathered all your tree, you know, on your material. So that year, I made all of my friends reversible tree skirts. So it's reversible, and you just tailor tight you know, in between each square. Oh, so that, that made it so special cool. and and something that was homemade. Well, I think right here in this doorway where we are standing is a beautiful spot to show Thank what you. we are leading into because I see a beautiful dining room behind us. Thank you. And an antique dinette set right here. Yes, yes. This and it is in great shape. You know, I think, and it needs to have the captain's chairs. That this is, uh, and I have a yellow one downstairs. But you would believe how durable that these, if you've taken good care of them and you haven't, you know, chopped with a with a knife or anything on them, that they'll last forever. You know, a lot of stuff that you buy now, 
It's not gonna it's not gonna make it through four or five generations like a lot of the old fur, good furniture did. Well, I think that's one of the biggest differences is now we just want something different, something yeah. different. Where yeah. then when and you disposable. made a purchase like this, they kept it for literally forever yeah. or certainly as long as they needed it yeah. in their home. Sure. And I can see that your kitchen here is just beautifully Thank made. You. And I love how open it is. Thank you. But that's why it's fun to stand right oh, here yeah. in the doorway. And then we'll get into the dining okay. room. Sure. I do love a beautiful table. And uh, this year, uh, I just, I try to add like a little something new. So I added the birds and then the, the little greenery on the side. So uh, this is John's favorite, my husband's tree. So he likes the glittery tree. Does he? Well, that is a beautiful With tree. Crystals and um, the shimmer. So he, he loves this one. And then see, this one has the gold. Now, did you make all these skirts as well? No, I didn't make this. These. Oh, I so that's made that one in there. Oh, because that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It is. It is. And again, the dining room suit. I know these are ones that once you have a good set like oh, that, yeah. it will just last and last. Yeah. And and those are the kinds of things that you want to preserve your memories sure, with sure. for your family. I'm not sure that the children nowadays coming up they, they like crystal and things like that like the salt wheels and the, mm -hmm. and the salt spoons and things like that that you collect yeah i'm not sure that they love those but hopefully they'll learn to appreciate it and love it too so and how long have you lived in this home kelly We've lived here 11 years we're only the third family to to live here so um but we've really liked it. Uh, this was already added on when we uh, bought it, but then we, this was like a screen porch, so we finished it out. And this is where the dogs live. Yes. So this is their sofa. We, they let us sit on it every once in a while, but this is mostly their room. So, uh, and then I sit out here in the summertime so that I can see all the birds and things in the, mm -hmm. in the backyard, so. This is my favorite tree. So this is the, more the country tree uh, versus the shiny, shimmery tree. Uh -huh. uh, I'm almost full, so I try to get like a ornament every once in a while, like the little fat belly birds or, or um, you know, something that looks more cabin. Uh, a friend of mine made this. Uh, Sherry Hall's sister married that, uh, made that. So a lot of homemade ones on here. So that's the ones that, that I like uh -huh. the best. So this room, I don't do a lot of decorating in here, just a little bit. And then of course I had all my presents on the other side, <laughs> so that when uh, we won't come peak. in, we don't. Yeah, they're they're all you know wrapped now. So I take one day and just wrap. Yeah, and that way I, I don't lose things because I have in the past, you know, you put something up and then it's maybe you Easter. You find it in June. Yeah, it's <laughs> Easter, and you're looking for something else, and then all of a sudden you find it. So uh, I try not to do that anymore. So, and then we'll go this way to the snowman room. Okay, this is a snowman room. So. Um, we usually don't use this room very often, so we just decorated it in the snowman, and uh, I really like it. I think the snowman adds so much to it. I know that's one of my favorites. Is it? Yeah. This um, room is more antique. It's not, uh, not really of a theme. I keep um, my collection of hat pins here. I think they could were probably used as weapons also because some of them are very sharp and they're very sturdy. So I'm sure that when women needed a hat pin, it was good for a hat pin, but when they needed a weapon, I'm sure for security, they used it for that also. You know, I think I think you're right. I have heard something about that when we were talking about Civil War things yeah. and they said the ladies always wore a hat okay. and when they're downtown or whatever they were doing and then they would have that hat pin with them. I'm sure. And not only did it hold it in position, which Mine keeps dipping down. So it holds it in position, but it also sure. would be something mm -hmm. should you get in a position where you had to use it. I mean, they're super sharp. Mm hmm And long. I, know, I love these. Now, where have you found your hat pins? Oh, uh, Louisville. I found them in auctions. I found them in um, antique stores. A lot of times, especially like a small, the small lapel pins, you know, when somebody 
finds out that you're collecting something, they'll pick you something up. And yes. That's fun too. Oh, so it's the hunt is really the, the main fun thing is when you're collecting something, it's not really the, even the thing that you're collecting. It's the hunt and you pick something up and you say, oh, I remember I was on vacation when I found this mm -hmm. or, you know, a family member brought this back for me. So, you know, it's things like, like Crocs. Yes. I have a lot of the, the, the Crocs that are out there in bottles. So that from Ohio, a lot of my family's from Ohio. So uh, it's just fun to collect things like that, you know, for memory. It is. Kelly, I want to thank you so much for opening your home up today. This is a tour of homes that Bardstown does each and every year, sponsored by the music group. And when they do that, that goes for fundraisers to offer scholarships so that yes. uh, children that are interested in music can carry that tradition on. So thank you so thank much you for all. opening your door thank today. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank